assalamu alaikum okay so in this video we're gonna learn how we can adjust uh, the image of a scope in MapLab according to our needs so here's the scope let's open it up okay so here we got a graph it could be anything okay so in the graph first you have to remove if there's any labels time in seconds voltage and everything you have to remove everything go to configuration properties and here is the y label in the display tab you just remove it and in the time tab show time axis level you gotta remove that as well go to display show legend remove that okay because these will these will interfere uh, when you're just using the finger flag okay so all of these are removed now okay now let's go to print to figure we're gonna go to print to figure click here and a new window will open okay yeah all right so this is a print to figure now okay now let's go to view and click on plot editor toolbar okay so we have clicked there so now that is ticked okay fine now we have to use these two options figure properties and access properties and also we will use crunch object properties so these three are the tabs that we will be using so let's click on figure properties for now and yeah, it's gonna open now again okay so yeah let's make a full screen okay so in the figure properties now the outer color is white uh, it's black so let's go let's go to the x properties first so you understand better okay so in the x label i will write time s as in the scope i couldn't write s it was only seconds i could only write seconds so now i can write s that stands for seconds and the y axis i would write voltage v whatever i want and i can select the font if it is smaller i can select from here let's say i select 12 click here and it's all increase in size so this is the color of the font which i would like to be black for now because i just turned it black and this is the color of that background and as i have turned the font black i will go to figure properties and turn this white so this is the outer color so now this black is visible okay so now edit access properties well there are more options if you want to select and change a few of them there is all the options that will come here in a moment or now oh, I... okay so there are the other options you can change the style you can change the other things and there are grid and everything you can go through them so this is a short video to give you a basic understanding okay so now as we click on this line color and now this is selected make sure that you have ticked this plot editor toolbar otherwise if you click here it will not get selected so now you have collected uh, select here now go to current object properties click here and this will open so now you can uh, increase or decrease the width of the of the of the line and you can change the color according to what you want and uh, yeah and then go to insert legend and here is the legend so now there are two waveforms there's a waveform that i cannot see i think yeah it's yellow line i have to see where it is it must be here okay well okay so now double click here again double click here it will yeah there it is now i can edit whatever i want like let's say voltage level i can write whatever i want by double clicking here and uh, i can select click on the upper side also click here uh, voltage out okay now i just click here click there again select it to black color and both of them should be black by now it will turn black okay, clicking here again and i can increase the size 
most probably yeah okay double clicking there again and there's also black okay fine black okay now I can drag it anywhere I want it should be black that is the background color which you can adjust according to your need so basically uh, the, uh, of course yeah 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 you can just delete this one that's why it's not turning black because this waveform is not visible here i turned it off but it was in the original scope so if you have a diff different picture this will not be uh, your issue so you can increase or decrease the size here so yeah you can adjust that and uh, uh, the rest of the properties here in figure properties you got more properties just so that you if you want to explore more or change more things you can uh, disappear these grids or change the color of just these grids or you can just uh, increase or decrease the size and the color of these grids as well from the their access properties and from here here you can take and uh, untick these things so the grids will disappear as you can see the grids are normal there if you want to increase the size of the, the, the grids and things uh, you can just select them from the properties so that's pretty much it thanks okay so now after everything is done it's time to save the file now let's just first go to control s save and save it as a figure file so uh, if uh, you need to change some things you can just open directly the figure file you don't have to open the module okay so yeah let's go there new folder let's go to new folder mm -mm -mm -mm. and go there and save this as test one okay so this is now a figure file matlab figure file as you can see here save okay so now i can open that up and, and later and see the properties okay so now i will go to i will not go to save as that will not give high quality picture i will go to export setup click here and go to rendering and this is the resolution 1000 is the maximum resolution you will get 1 to MB picture you can go to 800 500 or whatever you want let's go for now go to 1000 okay so that I will apply to figure okay and now I will click on export and I will go to JPG all right or PNG or whatever format that you would like I will go to JPG or there are other formats as well and i will save this file okay click okay it will take a minute or so uh, to save the file now let's see if we can go to the new folder and here it will appear of course it's going to take a minute or so to save the file also in the meantime let me tell you that this picture will come like this as it is showing here right now and i have to close this one to increase the size if i want the picture not to be so horizontal and to be in a, in a portrait mode a little bit then i have to make sure that close this one i have to make sure that i adjust it accordingly and then save it the picture that you see right now is the one that will appear now this is this is a pitch this is a horizon this is landscape mode now this is a bit vertical mode okay now the, the picture will appear like this now you can just drag it here okay now the picture as you can see here it will be a landscape mode okay as you can see it is a landscape mode and now i open this one and now let's go again export setup export 
and go to jpg where is the jpg jpg oh okay, that's the first one now let's put it to test number two and save and okay now this shall appear here when it's ready now whatever you can see here the dimensions of the picture that you see here will be the dimensions of the picture that is saved so before we were seeing a landscape mode and there were properties down there of course the properties won't appear but the, the dimensions of the image i was seeing before appeared in the jpg file or in the png file or whatever the form so you can adjust the dimensions according to your need by just dragging it like that according to whatever dimensions you require okay so now test 2 will appear here and that would be the end result i will just show you that and the video will end okay there it is test 2 and there it is and it is high quality picture as you can see you can zoom it zoom it zoom it it's quite high quality picture okay so now this is the difference between two pictures let me just do this you see here and open that up now you can see the difference between the two pictures a landscape mode or a portrait mode or whatever so that's it thank you